this is the uh, view of the aorta on of this one. Here you are seeing a vessel which is the superior mesenteric artery and alongside it toward this uh, natural side you are seeing another vessel which is called celiac trunk or celiac axis. This is the head of the pancreas, this one, because I am scanning in longitudinal section. This is the left lobe of the, of the liver in longitudinal section. And uh, actually, what I want to show you is, now I am going to trace the superior mesentery artery. With keen eye, you can see there is some abnormality between the aorta and the superior origin of the superior mesenteric artery. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is uh, it will be evident to all those that who are well trained in the normal ultrasound. Now you will see a structure which is normally not seen in this region between the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery alongside the aorta. Actually the pathology is Okay, this is the aorta, this is the superior mesenteric artery, this is the a trunk, left lobe of the liver, this is a bowel segment in transverse section. Well, now you see this end of the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery. This structure, this well-defined hypopoic solid area measuring approximately Twelve uh, eighteen point two into eight point six millimeter is in fact uh, an enlarged lymph node in this location. So this is the para aortic, what we we will call it as the para aortic plan adenopathy. Now this is there is only solitary uh, lymph node in this location and uh, there is no lymph node seen in any other location. Well, this is the bubble. So this is the pathology. And it is this lymph node anterior to the proximal aorta. Now let us uh, focus on the lymph node in longitudinal section. We will see. Let's see. Now I'm going to give a sweep to the probe to see whether it changes its shape or it retains its shape. So now that I have given almost 180 degree sweep. You can see that uh, it, this area, you are concentrating on this region, this area, 
this is the lymph node. This is the aorta. This is the transfer section. And here is the lymph node. classic picture of how a uh, lymph node appears as the echoes that you are seeing in the aorta uh, are because of the image optimization issue. Yeah, if I have to show you the lymph node, I have to increase the gain. So, <coughs> this is the lymph node, well demarcated, hypogoic no internal calcification, nothing. And uh, this is the aorta in the section, and the same in the transfer section. Magnified view. Now, this is the transfer section in which you are seeing the lymph node. This is the aorta. In transfer section, and this is the lymph node. In transfer section, in this location, it may is 23 millimeter, 23.8 millimeters in length, and 10.5 millimeters in length. So uh, it is well demarcated, and it is hypopoic in location. This is a bowel segment. This is the bowel segment and these uh, tubular structures and echoic are the walls, is the wall of the collapsed bowel, this area and this is the bowel, bowel segment. So this is a study of a para-aortic lymph node enlargement, a solitary one. Thank you.